Hi guys. So today, when I was told that I needed to do this, I looked for videos online about it and I could not find any. So this is my pre IOP video. And then I'll make a video later today about after, because this is my first day. But basically, I have to do intensive outpatient therapy um, for probably a month. I know at this place, you have to do it for at least two weeks. Um, but uh, basically, intensive outpatient therapy is supposedly when you're like really sick but you can maintain your safety outside the hospital so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next month three times a week for three hours um today's my first day it is almost 8 30 and I have to be there supposedly at 8 45 to fill out forms even though I already have my forms with me but apparently they need more forms on top of these. <clears throat> so I'm already being non-compliant with the program because I'm not showing up at 8.45. Um, I was going to show up at 9. I was originally told to come at 9.15 uh, because we have to do like intake stuff. So I know I've met a couple of people that run the program. And they seem nice. They seem fine. Um, I think there's five people in the program right now. And I think my biggest fear is that one of my patients is in the program with me. That's probably like my biggest all time fear um, is that I'm doing the program with one of my patients. Not that I don't like you guys' patience, but it would just be weird. So, yeah, you have to fill out um, all of this stuff. And I have a pamphlet inside that I did not bring, um, basically, like, telling you about the intensive out outpatient program. They do a lot of uh, DBT, which is dialectical behavior therapy. And I don't think I would enjoy that because it sounds like <clears throat> a lot of like writing and reading and you know like stuff that I just don't enjoy doing so I don't think I'm gonna like that um, but I don't know I might uh, the goal is that when I get discharged from this program I will go to regular, which for me would be weekly, but for other people it could be something else. Um, so you go to regular counseling sessions and then a weekly group. The other thing, I'm actually going to start driving because if I don't, then I'm going to be late and then I'm going to get in trouble, like big trouble, probably, I don't know. Um, my other issue is that I hope that this group isn't like 100% drug related. And my counselor is actually the director of the whole entire like program. So I doubt she would recommend this program to me if it was solely based on drugs and alcohol. Um, so, I don't know that still kind of worries me though and I'm afraid that they're gonna put me in like drug related groups and I already know so much about drugs like I do not need <laughs> really to hear anything else about drugs so That's kind of like my biggest concern is that I'm hoping that it's not like 100% drug related. Even like the groups, like I have to go to a weekly group and I just hope that I don't get put into
um, a drug related group because I would not benefit from that because I don't have drug problems. Oh, I didn't tell you what I'm being admitted for. <laughs> um, I guess, I guess depression and anxiety would be the only two. I don't have any other like actual diagnoses. So I guess those are the only two admitting factors. But I'm gonna go drive and I will talk to you guys afterwards.